And welcome back to the Spoiler Kings. I'm Brian the Grizzly. We got Tank Kramer over here. I got Brand Man because you know I don't I don't go on without Brandon. And <laughs> we got Zach Attack doing another review with us. This is awesome. Hey, Thank you, Zach. I appreciate you coming in. No problem. Yeah, Excited man. to be here. So I talk to everybody. Awesome. All right, guys. We got talking about these October reviews that we're doing. All these classic reviews. We got a good one here. 1996. What's the best movie that came out that year? It says Scream, you're right. That's what we're going to review today. Oh, man, I almost said Beavis and Butthead do America. <sighs> Only you. Close Only second. You. <laughs> <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Will Brandon. You get the uh, synopsis on this one. Okay. Um, a year after her mother's death, Sydney Prescott and her friends start experiencing some strange phone calls. They later learn the calls are coming from a crazed serial killer in a white face mask and a large black robe looking for revenge. His phone calls usually consist of many questions, the main one being, what's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> Along with much scary movie trivia, ending with bloody pieces of innocent lives scattered around the small town of Woodsboro. What's your favorite scary movie? What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. awesome. What's the best part of this movie, guys, for you? Oh, man. Um, right off the bat. Yeah, I, I'll go first real quick. The yeah. beginning. The beginning. With Drew Barrymore with mm -hmm. just a, a, a cheap costume that made you freak out. It, that the whole beginning scene was the best way to start a scary movie that reinvented the slasher genre. You know what I mean? It's like, and then for, then, then you were just hooked from that point on. You know what I mean? It's like, if it wasn't for Drew Barrymore and the ghost face mask, I don't know if Scream would, this whole genre, this whole franchise would not be anything without that first scene. Who kills so well. someone, the main star of the movie, in the first three minutes? She it's was so on the posters and everything. <laughs> These are prominently in all of the advertisements. They started the uh, meta commentary right there. Kill yeah. off your famous lead. Like, yeah. Who does that? It was the exactly. best thing ever. Yeah. Like, yeah I, I'd agree. The opening scene, it just did everything right. It set the tone. It subverts your expectations. You know, it really, it really blasted on all cylinders. With with the with the opening scene, I can't say a bad thing about it. There's a reason that the that the sequels kind of pretty much follow the same formula. Hell, like the the, what the could you do? following. Jada Pinkett <laughs> was hot at the time. You know, the yeah. Scream Three. You kill off Liam Schreiber's. You kill off Cotton Weary, who was a series regular. So I, I like the subversion of your expectations because that's what all this 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 was the beginning of the self aware. Uh, slasher genre, mm -hmm. you know, Agreed. how many copycats did we have after this? You know, we had Urban Legend. We had I Know What You Did Last Summer, barely even a year <laughs> after this. I love that movie. We had um, we we had even cheaper knockoffs like Valentine and, and and that sort of thing. So, you know, it really it really set the stage and established a new subgenre within horror. It is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what you got, Zach, for your best part, favorite part? My best part, I think there was a scene where somebody, the ghost face was chasing someone through like an alleyway, and she was just trying to get to the light, and like right when she was about to do it and touch somebody, yank! And I was just like, <laughs> every movie before that, she would have made it. <laughs> and that and that terrified the shit out of me. <laughs> the thing like, oh my god, no, the light will is not protecting you. I, I just I thought that was amazing. <laughs> That's a great answer. Uh, I got to say, just the, the opening scene is so, it's such a risk to mm -hmm. kill that main character immediately. Mm -hmm. This could have ended slasher films in, right away if it didn't work. If, it, if they did it the wrong way and they didn't have a strong enough uh, script, it could have ruined it all, the entire genre. So the fact that, you know, that they were able to pull that off I mean, this has to be it. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a uh, uh, well, Wes Craven. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, he's Wes Craven. Like, he's amazing. So, 
for him to like come in and I'm like, what is he gonna do with this? Like, what is he gonna modernize? You know, it's like he's you know he's a Freddy guy. You know, he's like he's like that. And then the the twists at the end. I don't know if it's a spoiler at this point. You know, of like spoiler alert, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Yeah, I guess they just but, soft rebooted it. If you ain't see the first one exactly. by now, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You've had 26 exactly. years, so yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, just the, the twisting, the twist at the end was so well done. Because the whole time you're like, shit, who's the killer? Who's the, who's the killer? Like, you know, and, and it, oh, man, like I, it, it was a, like a murder mystery as it's still murdering very, very That's violently, you, you know, and it was just like it was a slasher murder mystery. So it, it just yeah. made its own thing, reinvented the slasher genre. And, you know, who else can do it besides Wes Craven? Uh, that brings up the question. So does it hold up? Will it hold up? Nowadays, I think oh. it's almost a stupid question because <laughs> obviously it does. It's every every slasher movie falls the exact same thing that they do. So, yeah, yeah. I so, mean, definitely. Man. Without Scream, we wouldn't have got scary movie. Scary. Oh movie. yeah, that wouldn't even exist. <laughs> and ironically, fun fact: the working title of this movie was Scary Movie. Wow. That's hilarious. It's like the Wayne's Brothers knew. It's like they knew. And the yeah. influence is still to this day because uh, I don't know if you guys saw Bodies, 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 but bodies, that's bodies, bodies. Scream. I yeah. need to. I yeah. need to see it. And um, it's just, I know we did last summer too. There's a bunch of different stuff that it affected, plus like scary movie and all that. And just the uh, protagonist, not the antagonist, the killer being funny kind of and being yeah. like, mm-hmm. like making jokes about it. Before that, it was just the stone face, your Michael Myers. This one's like, no, he could be a jerk. He can like what he's doing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, yeah. That made it yeah. even scarier because you know it could be anyone, anyone you let in your house, anyone in your life. It could be any of them, yeah. and that's what the whole thing was. Sydney was like, I don't know who the fuck it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. you know what? I, you know, especially being Wes Craven, like you're saying, like how he's 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 funnier. It's all it, it reminded me of like taking like the goofiness of Freddy. You know, like how he yeah. would mess with you, and 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 make it more modern. You know, so it's like I, I thought that was really cool. It's like, oh, he can only get you in your dreams. This guy, like, you know, the call's coming from in the house. Like, that's a, a line that like everyone, even kids who probably never seen this movie, know that line. Yeah, you know, you know. Yeah. So it's yeah, you know, it's, it's he's he's able to take a a place where you're you're supposed to be safe and comfortable at, and he's like, oh no, we're gonna kill you there too. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> so yeah, he it's just really you. Cool. Like he knew where your house, we knew everything around your house. You weren't going a little hide because he knew everything in the house. Yeah. That was so good. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. That's that's. I don't know why. Where you said if it's a hold up, yeah. It's, it's not. It's not even a question. It, it, I mean, that's why they're making a number six because it still like holds up. The one that holds up always. This is the one that no matter what you do, you can make another one and do the same exact genre, and everyone's going to go see it. Still, it's going to same exact story, and everyone's going to still go see it. Yep. Uh, yeah. So on a tomato meter it is a seventy nine percent, and the audience is also seventy nine percent. What? Wow! Who That's... the fuck are these twenty one percent people? I just want to know. <laughs> right? I couldn't hold it up anymore. I'm sorry. I mean, who the <laughs> are these twenty one people? I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't help it. But uh, come on, really? Scream? Yeah. Like, I wonder. Are those yeah. the people that think the new, like the last scream? Is this scream? <laughs> you know, they... Yeah, that was a yeah, terrible no. title. <laughs> yeah, it, like, it, only it, meant scream five. To me, it'll to me it'll it'll always be scream five. I will never call it anything other than scream five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what it is. So I agree. But where do you guys rank this among all the? We talk about Halloween movies, core films. Where does this rank for you? I'm gonna. I'll, I'll go first. This this is top five top five like for for scary horror halloween kind of you need a, a scary night top five without doubt this is probably my number four uh this is this is my number one wow yeah, it, yeah. the ghost face mask scared me for decades <laughs> so yeah. i can't like what else could it be anytime i pick up a phone i'm like oh god you know, <laughs> so he's somewhere. either gonna be like "What's up?" or or uh, or say or "What's your favorite movie?" Like I hope it's "What's up?" and I'm like oh, "What's up?" And I'm like, "Cool, cool, we're safe, we're safe." It's gonna be the screen mask doing "What's up?" Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, I think this but, is my my top three. Like I, I said, "A Nightmare Before Christmas" is like my number one movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Adam's Family is probably my number two, and this one is probably number three. Because this is like the best scary movie because it's, it's funny, yet it's intense. It has all those elements in it, and I could watch any Halloween and just enjoy it. Just mm-hmm. enjoy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. Now, I anyone agree. else got to think about this? Because I, you know, I love it, but I want to hear what the comments I want to hear what the audience thinks. I want to know what you guys comment on. Uh, where is Scream ranked for you? I mean, is Scream in your top three? Is Scream in nine in your top twenty? Where do you guys rank it? Um, hello, Sydney. I mean, come on, that's this is this is so epic for me. Uh, mm-hmm. I was yeah. wondering what you guys think. I don't care what you think. You need to like and subscribe here first. <laughs> you know, like and subscribe with Zach Attack for his reviews. Yeah, Zach, give him give him something that you know what you do. So in case they didn't see the other uh, other uh, reviews. Yeah. So, yeah, I do movie reviews, television show reviews. I rank movies I've seen within the month and the year. And I do top 10 lists for characters and different things like that. So if you like in-depth reviews, come check out Zach Attack Reviews. That's awesome. So everyone, do it. I want everyone watching it. I want everyone looking at this. Scream is so good. I'm so happy we reviewed this movie because I really feel like this is one of those, the best ones that you get for Halloween. Mm -hmm. So. uh, all right, guys, we got another review, and it's another day, another review, so we'll do it again later. Thanks, everybody, for watching us, and we'll see you later. Peace. Yep. Later.